Okay, welcome to Tile Coach. I got a cool video uh, tiling a ceiling. This can be tricky. We already ran into an issue using Multimax Light Thin Set. Uh, we had two tiles drop down. So this is this can be pretty sketchy, and you got you want to be really careful when you do this. Yeah, we had two tiles fall and drop. One hit Kirk right on the cheek right here, and he got a good little gash. So be careful. Might be a good idea to even wear a hard hat when doing this, but we made the mistake. We thought Multimax Light would hold it, but Multimax Light, it sags a little bit. So uh, we thought it would work. It's a very good thin set, but it does sag, does not work good on ceilings for large tile. I do not recommend it. Do not use Laticrete Multimax Light. So luckily Kirk had a bag of Schluter All Set in his truck. And so the All Set is holding. So I'm gonna show you how we do this here. Uh, we got this cut. Um, we've put a good coat of mortar with the 3 8 notch up on the ceiling. And you can see here, we've mixed this thin set up pretty tight. This is a pretty tight mix on the thin set. Yeah, you can see I have to give, a, give some pretty good effort to back butter here. I always recommend a back butter when you're doing a ceiling. Okay. So I'm just gonna get it, and I, I wanna get it up there and really push it in. So I'm really giving it a wiggle. And you wanna make sure your, your ceiling is already pretty flat by the time you get to working on it. You don't wanna be building out. See, we're good, I don't have any lippage here or here. And that's, that's holding really well. So we got a really good bond up here and I feel good about that. So this is Schluter All Set again. So it might be good to get out of the way, hold it and just keep an eye on it because what happened was Kirk set a couple, they stuck with the Multimax light. He went out to make a cut, boom, one fell and then another one fell, hit him right in the cheek. Luckily that's all it does because one of these tiles, they weigh about 10 pounds. Porcelain tile, it's sharp. If that comes down on you, you could be in big trouble. So be very careful of the thin set you use. We do know that Schluter All Set works very well for this. So uh, this is a beautiful steam shower that we built for Mike and Loretta. Uh, it's just gorgeous. You can see we have our, our lighted niche in here. Uh, looks really nice with a glass accent. And um, we're out here in Placer County, California. Beautiful part of our state here. Lots of uh, water, trees, wildlife, and we're only about 20 miles outside of Sacramento. It's, it's beautiful out here. Okay, so we're gonna get this uh, other cut in here. It goes like this, right, Kurt? Yes. Oh, I need a towel, Kurt. This is... You want, it, you want me to wet it for you? Good? No, I just needed to dry it so I could get a grip on it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really working this in. Uh -huh. Really want to work it in. And that cut's gonna work out just, just about right. Yeah, so you can see, back up just a little bit. So you can see um, there's a couple ways we can go with this layout when we're doing a ceiling. Now, unfortunately, this tile, um, two tiles sideways is shorter than one tile long way, so we couldn't have all of the joints line up. If we would have tried to line up here and go this way, it would be off because it's about a quarter inch difference. So what we ended up doing is we ran the tiles this way so that it flows with the back wall up and it will line up with the tile going lengthwise, but it's not gonna line up going this way, unfortunately. Sometimes you get it so it can be perfect and you can line up everything, but yeah, this, this joint here is lined up with the wall joint here. So that's a consideration to make. I think it looks best to have the wall wrap up and over like this, as opposed to the side walls, but it can be done either way. That's a layout design question that's subjective to whatever you wanna do with it. So, uh, but yeah, I think this way worked best for what we had. And so we just have a few more cuts to get in. This is holding well. Again, the Schluter all set's working great. Okay, so we got the last piece going up. The rest of the ceiling's looking great. Last little cut's gonna go. Oh, and it's short. Did I really? It's short. Oh my gosh, Isaac. That's all right. 
Okay, so we got the last piece of the ceiling going in. And this is gonna be really nice. Again, you just wanna make sure you're really pushing in and getting full coverage on these guys. You don't want any air gaps, because um, that's where it'll start really to, uh, to coming down, so. That's, uh, actually, we need, we got too much thin, too much thin set on here. See if I can get it out. See, that's what you want right there. See, we got full coverage, but I got a little too much thin set on there. Let's see if that's gonna help. That's better. I just had to take a little thin set off. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, takeaways from this video. One, be very, very careful. Wear a hard hat. Uh, be prepared if you haven't done this before. Be very careful. Maybe you want to cover the floor with something that would soften the impact of a tile falling down. But again, what we found that Schluter All Set was a great thin set to use. None of our tiles sagged or fell down after we started using the All Set. Layout is important. You can either go side to side or front to back with your layout. Uh, but most, most of all, too, you need to check your ceiling to make sure it's flat before you install the tile. You do not want to try to build out the tile on the ceiling with thin set. You want the least amount of thin set you can get to get full coverage on those tiles. You do not want to be building out. So, so if you need help on any scope of your tile project, I am available to help you through our coaching plans that we have for sale on our website. So if you're stuck and you need help and you're unsure of what to do, uh, go to those coaching plans so we can help you out so the tiles aren't falling on your head like what happened to Kirk. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Last but not least, I love you. I love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video.